Hey, Kurt here with my Apple IIe computer. Today I'm going to type in a very small and very simple text-based arcade game into my Apple IIe. And this arcade game is pretty cool and it's only eight lines of code, so that's pretty neat. The program that I'm going to type in today um, is in the AppleSoft basic programming language, which comes with the Apple computer. And um, the source code I got from my handy little Beagle Brothers software catalog, which is pretty cool. It has some little um, software examples inside, and that's where I got the code um, that I'm going to type in today. So let's get started. And we'll start by booting up the computer. And um, we'll interrupt the boot with a control reset in order to get to the command line. Now, uh, now we have access to the AppleSoft basic language. And um, I'm going to type in the program. And again, it's only eight lines of code plus one remark line. All right, so that is the entire program. Eight lines of code, 10 if you include the first, or nine lines if you include the first one, which is just a remark. And um, if I didn't, um, if I typed everything correctly, we should be able to run it. And there we are playing a game and I can hit the the arrows to move myself, which is the V at the top of the screen, and you can see every time my V intersects with one of the at symbols, I get a score at the bottom. And if we get a score of 10, the game is the game is over. When we get a score of 10, oops, the game is over. I'm having trouble talking and playing at the same time. All right, 10 snails munched in 412 snail seconds. So let's look at the code and kind of go through it quickly, line by line. Um, line 20, H is 20. That's actually the horizontal position of my character, which was the V character. Um, in, in also in line 20, the poke 3522, that positions the cursor at uh, the bottom of the text window, um, which is what the 35 means, and then the 22 is the horizontal um, position. So, um, no, 22 is the vertical position. So, line 30 gives us a setting a variable k to whatever the return of the peak 49152 is. The 49152 is actually a read from the keyboard, so it's looking for a left or a right arrow key into the, um, the variable k. So if k is less than 128, um, move on. But if, if k is 149 or 136, which is the left and the right arrow key, you can see that h um, is either h plus 1 or H minus one. So if the if I press the right arrow key, H equals H plus one because this evaluates to true. K equals one forty nine gives us a true or a one. So that's H plus one. If uh, if I was pressing the left area arrow key, K equals one thirty six. So that evaluates to a one, and it's H equals H minus one. So that increments or decrements H, which is um, the placement of the user's um, character um, in horizontal position. And this screen has 40 characters across. So H starts out at 20, which is right in the middle of the screen, um, but then it's incremented or decremented um, depending on whether I'm hitting the plus, the right arrow or the left arrow. So on the next line, the poke 49168 um, clears the keyboard strobe so that we can get the next key um, from the user. 
And here we've got some randoms. So random 1 returns a float between 0 and 1, and then we're multiplying it by 10, so we really want a random number between 0 and 10. Um, if it's less than 1, that means um, only 10% of the time this is going to be true. Then we're going to vertical tab, which is down to 20 at the bottom, and um, we're going to horizontal tab to a random number that is uh, between 0 and 20. So um, if the screen is 0 to 4 or 1 to 40 characters wide, 0 to 20 is going to give us this area here, and then we shift it to the right by 10 with this plus 10. And so here's where we print the, the random um, snail symbol or the at symbol right here between the, this area of the screen. Um, and then um, the next line, VTAB 22, comes down here lower vertically. And then um, this is actually H tabbing random. Um, 0 to 39 plus 1, so it's actually 1 to 40, which is the number of characters, one of these possible characters in the screen, 1 to 40. And this is actually printing a dot, a random dot, in the screen, which is what character uh, 46 in ASCII is the period character or the dot character. In the next line, um, this peak 1535 plus H, I don't fully understand it, but I know what it's doing by looking at the code. It's comparing the player's character um, in horizontal spacing to the actual snail character that's coming up the screen here. So if, if the player's character and the snail, snail character intercept, then this is going to happen. Um, our score goes up by one, and then um, the vertical tab and horizontal tab is basically um, setting up where the cursor is. Um, and then we're printing this um, special character to show that they've collided. Um, when we print um, ASCII 7, that's actually the bell character, which gives us the system beep whenever we've collided with the snail. So score goes up, we get a system beep, and then we go to the bottom, vertical tab 23 goes way, way down low, and it prints, it prints our, our munched number, our, our current score and then it skips over the next line. Um, if we didn't just get a score, then it just prints our, our normal user character, which is a V at five um, down and horizontal, whatever the horizontal um, spacing was that was calculated earlier. Now the next line is basically a timer. Increment the timer by one, which is basically a loop counter. Um, if the score is less than 10, we go back to 30 and we do the whole thing over again. So this loops um, until we get a score of greater than 10. If we get a score of 10 or more, then we jump down to line 23 and we give our final score. Our snails munched in um, number of T, which is the number of iterations through this loop. So it's kind of a made up time constant um, of of number of iterations, but it calls it snail seconds. So now that we know what the code does, let's go ahead and play the game again with a run. And right, right, we got a score of one. Oh, I just missed it. You can see the periods or dots being randomly generated. The snails are being randomly generated. But honestly, the snails are limited to the middle half of the screen, there's no way, the way this is coded, that a snail can be on the far left or the far right. So that makes it a little easier. Okay, we got two more before, ah, the game ends. Ah, I missed it by one. Come on. I can't just hold down because there's such a delay before the, uh, there we go. 10 snails, 459 snail seconds. So that's is um, a very simple text-based arcade game in only eight lines of code. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.